Hey everyone, just here from the Wix Studio team with a new video. Uh, this video is just going to be a continuation of the bookings video I did a while back. It's just going to be part two and just going over some things I missed, which will be automations, email SMS reminders, and also Google Reserve, which is a pretty cool feature that just came out within the last few uh, months. So I'll go ahead and jump right into it. So first I have already the website that has the bookings app on it from the part one video. So we're going to go down to the dashboard here and on the left hand side of the menu, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to the booking settings. And once this loads, we're going to take a look here at the emails and SMS reminders. So this is just a really nice tool where if you're adding this onto your own website or if you're wanting to add this for, let's say your client's website, uh, you can add it here. And what it is, is it allows you to add SMS reminders to your bookings. So you can send reminders 24 hours before a session starts. So let's say if someone were to book a class of any sort or even anything in the bookings, then they'll get a 24 hour reminder just before the session starts. So that way they're reminded to end and that they have the booking. And we'll also have here different SMS notifications. Uh, you can take a look here by clicking on get started and you can take a look on your own. I'd highly recommend to check it out to see which SMS notifications might fit your own business. And you can also notice here that when I hover over some of these features, it says upgrade. And the reason for that is because you need a business and e-commerce premium plan on your website to be able to use these features as well as to use just the bookings widget itself. Uh, this requires a, a business premium plan, as I mentioned earlier. And then we're going to come down here to the email section where it's going to have the option to enable confirmation email and it's going to be sent at any time a client books a service. You'll also have the ability to have email reminders and the cancellation email is already enabled. Uh, so that way when you yourself cancel a session, then a cancellation email will be automatically sent. And that way you don't have to do it yourself manually. And you can also edit the cancellation email here by clicking edit. So we can just take a look at it here. Uh, it's going to be a subject and then just a quick message blurb. And then you can also send a test email just to see how it would look as well once it's sent. And then once we come down to some of the automations down here, these are just a few that are recommended for your business. And then you can also explore more automations, which we're going to do. I'm just going to go over here to the left hand side to go to the automations page in the menu. And once this page loads, you can see here that it's going to have a few automations already loaded for you. But we're going to take a look here at some new ones by just clicking new automation. And here you'll be able to make your own automations and triggers for things that are booked through email, through the widget, things of that sort. Uh, you can take a look here at the different categories. There are some popular ones and some different categories for, you know, engaging with the clients or customer retention and things of that sort. So we'll just take a look at one now. Let's go ahead and do something like engage with clients. So let's go think clients that attend a session. So we get set this up. So this one's just going to be for, let's say if someone finishes attending a session and then this email will automatically send out once the session is over. And you can also actually edit the trigger. So right here where it says the trigger is when the client checks in, you can also edit it for anything afterwards. So let's say, you know, when they check in or when the session starts or ends or anything of that sort, whatever fits for that specific booking class or service that you have set up. And you can choose the trigger and the frequency as well, which is really nice. And you can choose the different apps that you can trigger it from. So since this website and the services are bookings, this is why we're using the bookings that you can see here. You can use automations for a lot of different apps within Wix, which is really, really nice. And it's a really good tool to, you know, boost your business and build that customer relationship with yourself. And if you are building this website for a client, then this is something that, you know, would greatly benefit their business. And then you can also change the timing as well for when it triggers and you can change it from you know, hours to days, minutes, whatever you prefer, whatever fits for your service and business, or you can actually remove the delay entirely if you want to. And then the condition, you can add other conditions as well here. 
And then the action is going to be send an email. You can also edit it. You can send them you know, a message or, you know, you can like a coupon of some sort or anything that you, you know, would, would like to see. And if we scroll down here a little bit, you can see here that you can change the reply to email to whatever you prefer. And also uh, the sender name you can click edit here to edit it to your preference. And then this is going to be where you change the email. So if we click edit here, you take a look here on what you can change for the automated email. Once this loads, all right here. So you can see here that you can add a logo and then you can change the text here for the heading and then the paragraph text here, you can change it. It's automatically going to have the specific service name and then your contact email as well. And you can change a few things here by clicking on them. So let's say you want to change the button. You can change it right here for the text and you can also change the design here. Same thing for the paragraph text here. You can change the design for whatever you prefer and the content you can use AI text. So if you're not sure what to change here, you can play around with the AI text to fit, uh, you know, whatever works for you. And then you can also change the theme as well. There's a couple different preset ones and you can choose from, you know, whatever one you prefer, or you can make your own by going to background and changing the colors and the background to fit your needs. And that's essentially it for the automations here. So we can just go back. I'm going to leave since I'm not going to need this, um, but it's a really good tool to use to retain customer retention, to build more rapport with your customers. And also, uh, like I mentioned, if you're just building this for your clients, then this is a really good tool for them to use to, you know, generate leads, you know, start their email marketing, things of that sort. So it just kind of automatically automates a lot of tasks for them. So that way they don't have to manually do it every time. It'll automatically happen with the automation through email or whatever trigger or task that they had set up for their services. So it's a really good tool. So I highly, highly recommend, uh, you know, adding it to the site and, you know, playing around with it and having it fit to the business needs. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the Google reserve. So what it is, is that if you have Wix bookings on your website, um, you're going to be able to show specific services with reserve Google. And I'm just going to show you the help articles just because since I don't have a business premium plan on my bookings website and I don't have a physical location, um, I won't be able to set this up, but the help articles show you in great detail how to set this up. And basically it lets your clients directly book your services through Google and you can submit the services to Google from your site dashboard. Um, but I recommend taking a look at this article to see the settings to make sure that the services fit Google's requirements. So if we scroll down here, it's going to show you kind of like what it looks like before you do send it off to Google. And then it's going to also tell you a few requirements and as well as a breakdown of what you need to have before you do send it off to Google. So again, step one will be make sure you set. So step one, you'll need to make sure that your site meets Google's requirements, which is what I mentioned a little bit earlier. And then also going to check your business location. It's going to have you take a look at here and how to get there, as well as what you'll need to you know do. And then step three, you're going to verify your business description. It's going to also show you what to do to update your business descriptions and things of that sort. And then step four will be giving permission to submit the services to Google. It's going to show you where to start in your dashboard by clicking the links and then also where you can edit anything you'd like uh, before sending it off. And it's also going to have some frequently asked questions as well. So if any of these, you know, fit something that you're uh, having a question about, I take a look here. And then we're going to also take a look here in the overview and what it kind of looks like in Google once, let's say a service or multiple services do get approved to be shown on Google through Google Reserve, it'll show you here what it kind of looks like. So when your services are on Google Reserve, let's say someone was typing in something like gyms in New York or gyms in Los Angeles or wherever you're located, right? It's going to show here in your business, right? on the left hand side next to you know website and directions going to say schedule so that way when someone clicks on schedule they're going to be able to see a daily calendar or if they click on the calendar then they can see you know either if it's set up to weekly or monthly then it's going to show the services that have been approved and the ones that you have set up and 
customers are going to be able to book directly through Google. So that way it kind of saves them time from going through to your website and going through the whole booking widget. It gives them less steps that way they can book your services without going the whole, you know, 100 yards, right? They're going to just be able to book directly through Google. And so that way, you know, it can potentially land you clients and customers you know, relatively fast. And then, as I mentioned in the other article, it's going to have, you know, some requirements here. And you can take a look here by clicking on the drop down to see what you'll need to have, you know, done before being able to send it off to Google. And it's going to also show you here um, how to submit it and to to give approval to Google so that way they can approve of it as well. And then there's also a few important things that I wanted just to mention as well, which is here is that once you submit your site to Google, it can take up to two weeks for them to, you know, approve of it. And that also means that it's going to verify whether it's services qualify for Google Reserve. So when you do submit services, it's ultimately up to Google for them to verify whether it does qualify for Google Reserve. It's not uh, Wix's. Unfortunately, Wix does not have control over this. It's ultimately up to Google if the service is approved or not. And then the last bit here, which is uh, matching your website to the business as it appears on Google Maps. Google doesn't send a notification when the service is opened to Google Reserve. The only way to be able to check it is by going to Google and typing in, let's say your business name, and then, you know, seeing when it does pop up, then you'll be able to see up here if the scheduling is there now. So, and then coming down here to the very end, which is viewing and managing your services on Google Reserve. So once you do have that set up in your dashboard, you're going to be able to see which services are booked and how many times they're booked on your Google Reserve dashboard. But these are just a few things that I wanted to go over that I didn't mention in the first video. I hope that they will be helpful um, just because I do think these tools will be able to help yourself or if you're building this for a client, they'll be able to, you know, build a better business and by reducing their manual workload through automations and through email SMS reminders and also being able to land potential customers through Google Reserve so that way they can just reserve services directly through Google, which eliminates a few steps and that way they can, you know, book services seamlessly through Google. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope all these features will, you know, help your or your clients business. But if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Until the next one, take care.